What's up folks, Monster here, and we are starting a new series this time around. Uh, it's going to be called What's in the Box. I'm going to grab a box of stuff out of my collection uh, from the basement every so often. I'm going to record a video up to 10 minutes. If the box uh, has more than 10 minutes worth of stuff, I'll continue it in the next video following. Uh, but yeah, give me a chance to go through my stuff, sell off some duplicates, give you as uh, some of my friends, viewers, followers, who, whoever actually watches this, family maybe, uh, that you uh, give you an idea of what I collect, what I've been doing all these years, and uh, what I'm interested in. So without further talking, let's get into it. Here's the box, just so you guys know, I'm digging into a box. Using the one that I had in my room currently, it's got some of the most recent purchases, that's why it's actually in the room and it's not actually downstairs, but we'll dive right in. Uh, first, we have a Gears of War t-shirt, it's a developer t-shirt, it's from Gears of War 3. Uh, I actually just recently got this. I got it, sorry about the uh, the glare from the sun, it's coming through my blinds, but uh, anyway, I just got this shirt from uh, Japan. Uh, I'm going to assume that it was a collector over there who got it from somewhere in the US because it's, it's not actually in... Uh, Japanese or, or any other uh, Chinese or uh, Asian language or whatever. Um, so yeah, like I said, I think it came from the U.S. But it's pretty dope. It was a reasonable price. It was about, I don't know, maybe about 10, 15 bucks. Uh, add some shipping in there. It was just under 30, I think, uh, with fees and everything. But definitely happy to have it. It's my second developer shirt. You're actually going to see another one in a second. Um, but this is cool. This is, uh, I, I want to say it's in, a, it's in a very nice worn condition. It was listed as used. There's no tags on it. It's a little kind of weathered, but a lot of gear shirts are kind of weathered. So I'm not really sure, but moving on, we're going to get into this. Uh, it's a promo pack from Prima Guides. It's a digital uh, digital download of their guide for Gears of War 4. comes with some cog tags, as you can see over here. Um, there's not really much on the back. I, I want to say this this came as a bonus for buying something else, dude. Um, oh, sorry about the glare. My green skin's tripping out for some reason. I don't know why. You can see, like, the fuzziness and shit. Sorry about that. But uh, anyway, I don't know if this came as part of a, a two-pack or a three-pack or something, or maybe it was bundled with something else. It, it kind of feels incomplete. There's no, like, stickers or anything on it. Um, I guess, you know, there's a barcode down here, but still, it, it just feels like there, there should have been something else with this. Pretty sure I bought this off of, uh, off of eBay. I, I could be wrong. I bought someone's half of someone's collection recently, so it might not have come off of eBay, but pretty dope. Um, next we have, we'll do this, we'll switch to this, uh, this thing here. We have a Carmine mug. If you give me a second, I'll switch it out so you can see a little bit better. Uh, second. All right, there you go. And let's spin it for you guys. All right, so this was available on Amazon, uh, when I found it, I found out about it at least. Uh, it was about 20 to 30 bucks, um, only available in the U.S. from what I understand, because I remember I shipped, uh, shipped one of them to someone overseas in the U.K. somewhere. But it's cool. Like I said, I'll probably never use it. It was 30 bucks. Um, I like it as a keep safe. Uh, it, it, it keepsake. Seems like it's going to be a little heavy too. So if you did use it, I, I probably wouldn't wouldn't want to drop it. So I, I probably would just put it on a shelf even if I open the box. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Carmen Monk. Not much more to say about that. Um, switch out for a sec. We'll move on. This one I'm actually I'm not actually going to open. This comes sealed from Glitch Gear. I'll hold this up. It says blood, sweat, and gears. I don't think there's anything on the back. But again, I'm not opening this. This is from the factory. Um, so shout out to Glitch Gear. Uh, check them out. I think it's glitchgear.com or something like that. They're Glitch Gear Inc., whatever they're called. Uh, they give me a free Nasher pin. They usually include a free pin uh, or something if they have it. Um, and they'll include a 15% off coupon as well. So you can get yourself a nice little discount on your next purchase. So that's pretty cool. Uh, shout out to Glitch Gear. I've actually seen them at tournaments. They do Gears of War tournaments. I've seen them at um, at Comic Con. They've been at Comic Con selling their goods. Uh, if you get a chance to go to Comic Con, uh, maybe next year. Uh, this year, actually, it's the next year already. Um, yeah, check them out. Check out Glitch Gear. Very cool people. The owner, the employee is very cool. Um, next, we have a T-shirt that I actually won as part of a giveaway. Uh, it's it's a, like a two-part T-shirt, so you'll see two T-shirts. But the first one comes from a very popular uh, organization owner. You guys might be familiar with Moomoo Milk. Uh, he was the I think he was the founder, maybe he was the co-founder of uh, Essence, uh, Essence Gao, if you want to call it that, Gears of War. Pretty sure they were really big in Gears 3, I think that's when they came up. I, I'm not familiar with if they were before that, but I know they were a huge, or, huge organization in Gears 3. Mumu Milk is a nice guy, I don't exactly know his name, um, I'm sure I do at one point or another, it just escapes my mind now. But uh, I'll definitely link his Twitter, you might actually see it scrolling across the screen somewhere uh, when we get to some editing. But uh, yeah, shout out to him, it was dope, um, had this little giveaway on Twitter, bro, in the middle of uh, the whole lockdown and all that craziness and i happened to win it so that was pretty cool let me show you the other part of it the other part of it was actually a congratulations letter and a team essence gal t-shirt which if i can get the bag open i'll show you guys that i'm not going to unfold it because it doesn't say anything on the back but it's basically it i'm hoping i'm holding that upright i don't think i am um, there we go essence there we go ess pretty dope cool little logo um 
can't say I'm a fanboy. Definitely supportive of anybody um, that plays Gears, though. Uh, never really followed Essence or Competitive Gears until, I guess, a couple of years ago. And um, by then, there's just been so many organizations that it's just hard to keep up with. But anyway, uh, nice little thank you note. Jason, thank you for being around the Gears of War scene and showing support. You have won the Essence giveaway like a half a year ago. Hope this little gift makes your day. Um, it was a little late getting to me just because of, you know, the, cr the crazy lockdowns and shit, like I said. But shout out to Moomoo Milk, you know, shout out to Essence. Um, you know, appreciate everyone over there. Um, everyone I've interacted with so far from, uh, from that organization has been friendly. Although I haven't interacted with many, but everyone has been friendly. Moving on, let's grab the next item. Another t-shirt, which I'm sorry about this. I should have probably taken these out of the bag, but at least it's a little more genuine. It seems a little less scripted when you're me having me fumble. Here's another t-shirt. Here's where a t-shirt, pretty cut and dry. You know what? I'll actually unfold it. I hate unfolding them. It's a developer shirt, <clears throat> and I actually probably should unfold it to show you that. So we'll do that. Here's tactics, dev shirt. Um, pretty simple, pretty cut and dry. Uh, some stuff on the arm. I'll try to show you the arm. But one second. The splash damage on the... There we go. Splash damage. See if the other arm says anything. It says something. It says the coalition. Um, that's pretty cool. Definitely excited to have another developer t-shirt. This was the sec uh, the first one I've actually had. The one you saw prior to this was the second one I bought. Not sure where this came from, besides the fact that it's a Gears Tactics shirt. I want to say I buy most of my things off of Amazon, eBay, Mercari. Not really Amazon, eBay, Mercari. Um, but this also might have been sold. I, I, I could swear this was sold by an official vendor for some reason, dude. Uh, sh sound off in the comments, guys. Where did this come from? I'm pretty sure, like I said, this was actually sold where the general public could buy it. But I could be wrong. Um, so anyway, next, moving on, we'll have some pins to show you guys. And you can't really display these, to be completely honest with you, just because it's, it's, it's kind of hard. Um, it just catches mad reflections. What I'll do is I'll switch the camera and I'll just hold them up for you guys. There we go. All right, these pins, I actually got these. These came from a Gears of War tournament. Shout out to Nunez Gao, a.k.a. Vintage Pokemon Hunter. Um, he was at the tournament competing or hanging out at one of the tournaments. And uh, he picked these pins up for me. I couldn't be there. You know, definitely was a psych to go through with the trade. I think I traded him some Nintendo merchandise for this stuff or whatnot. We, we had a nice little deal going, but shout out to him. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty dope. This was the esports scene uh, pin. This was like a, I don't know, like this mash up a human skull and a locust skull. I don't know. This, is, this was a dumb redesign. I don't know. That's just my opinion. You know, if you guys like this, you know, you know good for you. I mean, not to be a dick about it. Like, honestly, like, I just don't, I'm not feeling this design. Do really not? But uh, it's pretty cool to have an Asher and a Gold Lancer. Pretty cool. All right, let's get on to the next item. We have a Gears of War lanyard, which I'm not going to be opening. But this was for Gears of War 4. Probably, I don't know, like a GameStop thing, uh, FYE, something like that. You know, maybe uh, maybe Think Geek or something like that. But uh, it's got the Phoenix Omen in there. I uh, can't really move that around. I tried last time I uh, looked at this. But yeah, probably about a 10 or $15 lanyard. Reasonably priced if you want to go look for one. You might be able to find it for like 8 or 10 with free shipping, uh, depending on where you look and how often you look. But yeah, pretty sim uh, self-explanatory lanyard. Um, next, we have what is going to be impossible to open because I remember retaping this and it's going to suck. Uh, give me a second. Let me get a knife. Or scissors, rather. Again, see, this is how you know it's genuine. I'm cutting shit open, bro. It's not scripted. I'm sure you don't want to watch me cut shit open, but that's what it is. Now, this next is a curb stomp kit. There were multiple curb stomp kits. Um, there was a... I don't know, kind of like a like a bluish, almost like grayish one. One I want to say. Uh, then there was a red one, which you're gonna see here as soon as I put it in, in focus. Yeah, there's that. It says Mechanic Baird on top. Comes with a set of band aids. It actually comes with a download for I guess Mechanic Baird. I guess that's why he's on top. Uh, let's spin this. So you guys can see the back. Um, but yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a curb stomp kit with band aids, dude. If you got hurt, it's a kit to uh, help you after you got curb stomp. Some shit. I don't, I don't know, but. These came out, uh, like I said, with the two um, two different types. It was the red one that you'll see on the front of the box again, and it was like a lighter color, grayish one that, uh, that came out at the same time. And then this one specifically probably came out in Canada where it was like a set and it bundled it with um, Mechanic Baird. But uh, yeah, shout out to Sour Von Kraut. I bought this from him uh, when he sold his Gears collection, and he can probably give you a little more detail. Maybe he'll sound off in the comments if he sees this video. But uh, if you guys have more information, please you know provide it uh, down in the comment section. I'd love to uh, stimulate some conversation. Uh, if you guys are interested in uh, Gears of War merch and you collect, I, I run a Gears of War collector Discord. Uh, all you got to do is show me a pic of your uh, your collection, your DIY, your cosplay, just something like that that shows me you're interested in Gears of War and get you right in. But uh, let's move on. You don't want to hear me talk. <clears throat> let's switch cameras again real quick. 
switch back. And now this is probably the rarest t-shirt I have in my collection. I would want to say it's a Gears of War 1 launch shirt. Uh, it's got the Gears, uh, no, on the side. Got the Gears logo right here, the uh, Crimson Omen. Um, I'll try to, can't really see it. it I'm not going to give you any better views of it. It's just not going to happen. Uh, the bag is still sealed. That's why, like, I would take it out, but I'm not about to ruin the, the um, genuineness or, I don't know, integrity of this being sealed. I mean, I can't even prove it's never been opened. It's a little dirty on the edge, but I'm not opening it, dude. It looks brand new. Still in the bag, dude. I, uh, I heard from the guy in marketing that this is the only, not the only one, but he, he said that the bag completes it. So having it in the bag is a very good situation. I'm definitely not opening it. Large size. Comes all the way to us from, uh, where the hell did I get this? Poland, I want to say, maybe? Not really sure. The seller uh, canceled my sale. I had to go uh, back and forth with them a bunch. I'm like, listen, I'm a huge collector. I'm like, once the uh, pandemic cools down, like, please keep me in mind. Then they did. It was, it was amazing. Always reach out to your sellers, guys, or potential sellers, or whatever, if you're a buyer. You never know what they're going to say. Uh, I've gotten discounts. I've, I've gotten people to ship things that they didn't want to ship. And it never hurts to ask. Same thing. I run a Macari store, and it never hurts to put in an offer or just ask. But anyway, I'm rambling on now. This has been What's in the Box, the first episode. It's going to be a series for uh, my collection and what's in it. Um, you know, you're going to see Gears of War first. We'll probably do some Halo, some GTA, some Xbox logo merch, all kind of random stuff. I got Funkos. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz if you feel necessary. And if you don't, it is what it is. Uh, check out the link in my profile, my link tree. It'll link you to everywhere I'm interested in, all my uh, areas of interest, different games, different social media platforms. But I appreciate you all. Have a great day. Take care and peace.